Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to make these beautiful nautical themed ocean wave cutting boards out of stock that I found at Home Goods. Now I was really surprised to find the, the variety the, and the huge selection uh, that they had and more importantly than that they were really well priced. Um, so I went to the, just to the local Home Goods uh, and I picked up a few of these. Uh, this particular kit was three boards for ten dollars. Um, other boards were in the in the twelve dollar range, uh, and then the uh, the live edge boards were probably in the twenty dollar range. Now this is the second video I'm doing on making these epoxy uh, wave cutting or serving boards. Uh, the first one was really detailed, had, you know, how to mix the epoxy, etc. Um, for this one, I just really wanted to show a, a really just how long it takes or how minimal amount of time it takes to make these beautiful uh, cutting boards. So we're going to follow this project in real time um, of me making one of these nautical ocean wave cutting boards. Now I use um, a product, an epoxy from TotalBoat.com. Uh, it's called their Maker Epoxy. It's a little bit um, thicker than their thick set. Um, so it, it works really nicely for the waves. Now I started with a dark blue and I just I'm using the stirring stick just to spread it out on the on the corner where I want the dark ocean to be. Now when you're working with epoxy it's important to have the room temperature in the 70 degree range. Uh, it's important to uh, stir it slowly and completely you know for four or five minutes before you start. And then what I did was I just mixed up some clear and then subdivided it into you know three or four little containers or cups. I added dark blue to one, uh, kind of a turquoise green to another, um, white uh, to a third, and I left a little bit in the original stirring cup uh, to act as the clear. You don't have to be a very talented uh, to get good results with this process. I was really surprised. Now the only thing with these, they really should be considered serving boards. Um, on these larger boards, you could certainly cut on the wood section. You just don't want to cut on the epoxy section. The epoxy is actually food safe, um, but if you cut into it, you could certainly chip away the epoxy and you're going to certainly ruin uh, the appearance of the board. So we'll call them serving board, although they, they certainly could be used as a cutting board uh, as long as the user is aware not to cut over the epoxy section. I added a green right along the edge. This is kind of a turquoise green. Uh, then I'm going to take some clear and I'm going to leave a little bit of a space, maybe about a quarter inch or so. And I'm going to put a line of clear and then I'm going to put a line of white in front of that clear. So that the, the white is going to flow into the clear. We're going to blow this with a hair dryer. It's really cool because you get the, the effect of the ocean waves it is that real frothy looking, they call it cells. I'll show you in a, in a minute exactly how that effect is achieved. So you can experiment with this. You can hold the hair dryer at different uh, angles, but you want to start with the hair dryer on cool and on the lowest setting. And you'll see how easy this white and the rest of the colors kind of flow and merge together. Then put the hair dryer on warm. Don't want to really make it too hot. You just want to warm up the epoxy. And it's that warming process that's going to allow, especially the white, uh, to create the, the cell structure or the, the frothy foam effect of the ocean. Another way of doing this is if you've already got the white where you want it and you don't want to move that white around too much anymore, you could also use a little uh, butane lighter uh, but in this case, I'm just doing it one shot. Um, I put the hair dryer on cool to start and got, got everything flowing. Then I put it on warm. And in a matter of a couple of minutes, I've got some really nice colors going on. And I've got some, some nice cell structure uh, to the white, frothy, um, you know, foam waves. So I, I set up a little process line. Uh, you know, I, I did three of these uh, in one shot. And the whole project, really, I mean, what, what are we at? Four minutes into this and you saw the, the entire build. Um, these are the other boards that I got, all from Home Goods. 
This is the Live Edge board. I think I like that one the best. Anyway, real, real quick, simple video. If you, if you want to find out about the Maker Epoxy, uh, www.totalboat.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I ask that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it if you took the time to leave a, a comment in the comments section. And please check us out on the web at www.diyeasycrafts.com for other nautical do-it-yourself projects. Thank you.